Good morning. I wanted to do a recipe video for you guys today. I know I'm still going to do the parfait video for you guys, so that's coming. I recently started making French toast for the very first time on Christmas Day, and I, one, realized how easy it is. It's actually really cheap, too, if I think about it. Two, it takes no time at all, and three, it is so delicious and I've never made French toast before I love eating it out like when I go out for breakfast but I've never in my life made it so this is how easy I feel like it is I don't use really any fancy type of bread so you guys are gonna see all the ingredients here my dog is eating her breakfast you guys know this anytime I pull up this camera and it's time for you guys she thinks it's time for her Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys the recipe that I found. I did not come up with it. It is not anything dramatic. I just thought that I would share the things that I like with you guys. So it's up to you whether you like it or you can compare it to what you've been doing. Um, or if you never realized how easy it actually is to make French toast, well, you're going to see just how easy it is. So let's go ahead and get started and grab all the ingredients and then get this stove fired up. So I've gathered all of my materials. I have powdered sugar, I have bread, butter, um, this is cinnamon, and this is vanilla extract. We're gonna use some eggs and some milk, and also some obviously syrup if you want to, so I'll grab that as well. I have my stove fired up. I have this on like a medium, I actually need to go a little bit lower. All right, before we get started, I just want to tell you guys that I will link the recipe that I found down below so that you guys can see the exact measurements and um, how much it actually makes because I don't know it off the top of my head. I just remember the recipe off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get this all mixed in together. It's so delicious. First, we're going to do three eggs. Okay, I've cracked two eggs, although the recipe calls for three. Again, you'll see it down below, but I just know from trying my first time that I just don't need as much of the goodness dip for the French toast, uh, just because I'm probably gonna make it for myself and for my daughter. Now with the three eggs, the recipe calls for a third cup of milk, but because I didn't do three eggs, I'm just gonna do a half a cup of milk, or a fourth cup of milk, sorry. I'm going to add a dash of this vanilla extract, about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less. And then with the cinnamon, I personally eye it. Um, I always eye my spices, so about that much. Now you can use any kind of bread here, but I'm just gonna use the bread that I have on hand. It's just some good old Mrs. Barrett's uh, white bread. And because this bread is not as dense, I don't wanna leave it in the mixture. I just wanna dunk it really quickly or else it's going to be too uh, liquidy if that makes any sense. But if your bread were to be thicker, you may want to consider leaving it there. Maybe if it's like a sourdough type of bread, do your research on how long you should marinate. I know some recipes will marinate like overnight, but this really is just a quick dunk with this specific type of bread. I've added it straight to my pan. I lined it with butter, as you saw. It's only gonna be a couple minutes on both sides. So I've already flipped it. it. As you can see, there's some like golden goodness there, but I want it to like brown a little bit more. So I do flip back and forth until I get my desired like crunchiness and like brown goldiness on the outside. 
So we'll just slip this a couple more times and then this one will be ready. You guys, it's smelling so good in here. As you can see, there's a little bit more brown on the edge. So this one is done for me. So I'm just gonna scoop it up and we'll put it on our plate and then we will do another one. absolutely love the gold crispiness on the outside and I don't want my French toast to be soggy so I do love the like crispy texture to it but it's so perfectly golden and this one is ready. So I've made four French toasts and I just want to show you guys how much of this golden dip that I have left. There's just so many, you know, French toasts that you can make from my um, recipe, but again, I'll link the original down below. All right, so here is what it looks like when I'm done. It is so delicious. I can't believe how, honestly, I can't believe how good it is from those simple ingredients. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe tutorial. Comment down below, let me know what ingredients you put in your French toast. And if you try this recipe, then come back and comment and let me know if you liked it. And that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you for another recipe tutorial soon.